of Winston. Winston is the cigarette that changed America's mind about filter smoking. Winston brings you a filter that really works, lets you draw so easily and enjoy that real tobacco flavor. Yes, Winston gives you finer flavor in a filter cigarette that's easy drawing. Try King Size Winston. Winston tastes good, like a cigarette should. Well now, friends, I really... I really haven't... I really don't have the proper words to introduce our special guest for tonight, Lucy. We've written an introduction, please. Will you, uh, will you read this to introduce our guest? Tonight? Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a secret now presents a man who has thrilled millions with his magnificent and superb bongoing of the bongo drums and his inimitable renditions of Cuban Pete and Babalu. The toast of three continents, an entertainer without peers in the annals of American showmanship, a serious actor whose sensational performances have brought tears to the eyes of millions of women and have made strong men sob like babies. A great comedian. A great comedian. (laughs) And above all, a great producer. And if you don't believe he's a great producer, I got two little Arnazes at home to prove it. <laughs> One of America's finest pickers of the guitar, a former vocalist with Xavier Cougat, a one time taxi driver and birdcage queener in Miami, Florida, <laughs> a fine man, an excellent showman. <laughs> Desiderio Alberto Arnaz Ideacha the third. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I like you lovely people. We have so much fun watching you all the time. Oh, good, good. So listen, panel, we've got an awful lot to do, and Desi and I have things to talk about. We want you all to get lost uh, temporarily. You'll find a small, dark, damp closet outside. And meanwhile, Desi and I will talk. What do we talk about? Why don't we talk about your picture? Oh, that's a very good idea. When is it open here in New York? It opens here tomorrow, low state. Are you, uh, you and Lucy are going to go down and do a personal appearance with the picture? Yeah, we're going to be there about one forty in the afternoon, and then we're going to be there at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Boy, I would hate to be the usher in charge <laughs> of keeping everybody in line. Well, I hope you're right. And here is a $500 bill. See it? Oh, well, it's fake. What do you mean it's fake? It says 500 smackers right on it. It's phony money. Oh. Wouldn't be real. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll show you why. Because this is the kind of money that will not burn a hole in your pocket. Isn't that true? Yes. Because it's phony. Yeah, and it's phony. the reason it won't burn a hole in your pocket is because it won't burn at all. True. It won't burn. Yeah, but you know why? Because it has this in it. Well, what's that? Metal object. What is that metal object? Got well, to that's do? a good conductor, and it'll take the heat from the flame before the... The phony money has a chance to burn. Uh, well, uh, it, it's be- what kind of uh, heat uh, conduction, convection, or radiation is this? Well, this be conduction. 
conduction. Mm -hmm. In other words, the heat from the candle goes through the paper and the, is pulled away so fast by the metal bar mm -hmm. that it keeps the paper from burning because it can't get up to the high enough temperature? True. True. You think that's true? Is it true? Yeah, I think it's true. Okay, well then what should happen if you slowly pull that metal bar out from there? Well, there'll be no conductor behind it, so yeah. it should burn up. All right, try one. <laughs> there it goes. Burning up. You see why I used yeah. play money? Yeah. Would it work with real money? Live from Television City in Hollywood. Cool. Cool Cigarettes present My Friend Irma, created by Cy Howard and starring Marie Wilson as Irma, with Mary Ship as Kay. Have a cool, Irma. Oh, sure thing, Kay. You see, I've switched from hots to cools. Oh, cool cigarettes, I mean. As Willie the Penguin says, Smoke cools, smoke cools. <laughs> That's right, folks. Smoke, smoke cools. cools. little nephew Bobby back from boarding school and with our being on a redecorating kick we've been a couple of pretty busy gals. Oh gee Kay, I think that paper looks pretty good. Yeah well I'd like to live with it for a few days before we make a decision. Buy me some tacks will you honey? Sure Kay. You know my boss once said I was sharp as a tack. You sharp as a tack? Uh, he had to hit with a hammer. <laughs> while you begin to feel like somebody's hitting you with a hammer when you live with and love my friend Irma. <laughs>